everybody. I am Teresa Moxley and so welcome to my channel. This is I believe year 13 for me for doing this project and so I'm excited to jump in. What I wanted to share with you today is the Ali Edwards release and what was in my box. I'm not going to do an unboxing today because I think what you really want to know is how I plan to use the products that I ordered. And so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the basic structure of my album, why I chose this one, and what I'm going to do just to start with. And so I am one of the people who has always been a fan of foundation pages. I found that the years that I do foundation pages, it helps me get a better handle on the album and helps me create more pages throughout the month of December. I also realized that some people try to try foundation pages and don't have success with them. And so I understand um, both, both things can be true and um, sometimes from year to year, it can be different for each person as well. But I hope that you'll still be able to find some inspiration. What I encourage you to do is just to jot down page ideas while you're, while you're watching. If things come to your mind that you like, uh, just jot those down. Keep, a, keep an, a running list in your notes app and refer back to that when you're ready to create. And then you have a list, a running list of page ideas that you can create. So jumping in, first off, I was really excited about the 10 by 8 album this year. This is a new album size. I haven't really um, worked with this size. I did do, a couple of years ago, I did, well, not a couple of years ago, um, probably like 15 years ago, I did a beach album in a horizontal orientation. Of course, it wasn't like this or anything. Um, it was just a regular photo album but I really liked the real estate and that was what excited me about this album this year um, because I think that what, what this gives you the opportunity to do is to just have one day on each side. So uh, you could do, you could do day one here and day two here and have a transparency in between or some sort of die cut or something to separate the days or to give a little bit of visual separation. And when you do that, then there's actually enough real estate on each page to include your photo, a nice amount of journaling, and a couple of embellishments if you like. And so that was what really um, drew me in. There are two page protector styles here, but I am going to play a little bit with the fuse tool and um, figure out some other, some other um, pocket page layouts just because I'm, I'm excited to play with different page configurations. Um, I love the artwork on this album and of course the two and a half inch spine is the best <laughs> for this project because it does get bulky in a hurry. By the time, if you do foundation pages, usually by the time you put your foundation pages in, I feel like, oh, that's full. Um, so I like the options there for that. And then I, um, of course, had to have the vellums that came in that size. These are absolutely gorgeous vellums. Um, so the red with the gold foil, the wreaths, the green branches with the gold foil, and these, um, these speech bubbles really, really excited me when I saw Allie's walkthrough or, um, Ali's unboxing video. Um, this this really excited me because I thought it would be fun to do since there's six people in our house. 
Um, it'd be fun to do a photo of each person in each of the bubbles and then our, ca our cats and our dog as well and then just do their name and age underneath. Um, maybe type it or because it's small enough you could run it through the typewriter or use a little label if you're if you're not into typing on the original but that was that's a fun um, storytelling means and I really like that page and then of course the stripe with the gold foiling as well and of course the um, main kit included a set of patterned papers and so this is really cool too um, just a great canvas size I'm kind of excited also about the um, the page templates that were released in the digital release and uh, so these are an opportunity to layer those templates on top and I also really liked this grid this year. Um, there are some layered dimensions that I thought would be fun to add to that. And then of course you can add a photo where you want to or um, journaling. So there's some fun options for that pattern paper as well. And then um, just some of the things that stood out to me in the embellishments, of course, um, I had to have the star kit and I had to have this little um, hang tag for the outside of the album. So I'm gonna be adding a little chain to that. I really did like these stars too. Um, those are really pretty. So the, the mini star kit was a great, a great little option. And then there were some wonderful transparency elements in the main kit. These circles are gorgeous. So let me show you these. I felt inspired by these. Of course, you can see the full unboxing video at, or videos at Ali Edwards YouTube and uh, I am, I encourage you to go watch those if you haven't yet and then these were really pretty too um, and then she also did some tags some transparency tags I always love the transparent elements in these kits um, just because it adds to the fun and it adds to the interactivity of the album uh, just this, the little see-through elements and and having something that's a little more playful and fun. So those, you guys know I love transparent elements. Uh, the numbers, I did get the wooden numbers. These were kind of a last minute, let me go ahead and get them so that I don't have FOMO. <laughs> and... Um, so I like them. They're 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 really cute. We'll see how they go in the pages. But something else that I was really excited about were these little wooden houses. And there's also um, a chipboard sheet here, and the um, the six by eight transparency pack had the houses on a transparency as well. Um, and those are really pretty, I thought. They're just uh, wood wood backing and then kind of a, a shiny overlay for the paint. Um, so those are really cool and I'm excited about using those. Another thing that I was really especially excited about was the number 25. And so there's the number 25 and then there's also a red and black plaid um, transparency and so I thought those were really gorgeous I'm probably going to use this somewhere on the uh, intro page or cover page uh, somehow in some kind of way for that because I really that was one of my favorite things in this year's release 
Um, another thing that I liked, I mentioned already, I liked the grid and there was a six by eight grid as well. Um, and that may be worth having in the digital. I think that um, the, the pattern paper and the grid themselves, I think that would be cool to have in, a, in the digital format so you could do a 10 by eight that was just photo and story, photo and story, or photo, story, embellishment, embellishment, photo, something like that. So I really liked this grid this year. I thought that was a cool element to include. There were, of course, um, some pockets, and I always love these because they're easy. They're easy foundation pages that are basically done for you. So I'm, my favorite one is this one. I don't know if that was if that was supposed to be cut like that, but probably what I'll do is level that off and then punch it with a, a three inch circle punch just so that looks a little bit more cleaned up. But it's a really pretty vellum pocket and um, those are just nice to, to slide a photo and a, and a journal card into. This one was really cool to continuing that grid pattern. And of course the larger one has the, um, the seasonal pattern on it, which is really pretty. And then the stamp set, I only got one stamp set this year. Um, so I got the Paisley Press stamp set and I plan to get the Paisley Press digital kit and I thought that this would be a nice layering kind of element to go with the digital elements in that kit. Um, just another thing too, I wanted to point out um, labels, a pack of red labels this year. And there were also some labels in this little word strip pack. So um, words and labels included in this. And I really like this. I, what I love about these is that they're long enough that if you cut them in half, you can double, double the fun, double the pleasure. Um, so those are really cool. And let's see if there's anything else in particular that I wanted to point out. Of course, the number, the puffy number stickers. Um, oh yeah, the, these, uh, title words, so I didn't open these yet, but let me open these. This is another product that I was especially excited to see this year. And, um, I think that they're going to be really pretty layered over a photo. And I love that they're white and they have just a, the tiniest little bit of Sparkle. They're not, they're not in your face glittery, but a little tiny bit of sparkle. And I think that these are going to be really pretty. I'm, I'm kind of excited. I'm sorry I didn't have that one open yet. Um, I tried to open the other things so that it was a little bit easier to show you just sort of what my favorites are. Um, so there's. Uh, the story, this story has my heart. It's a little bit wider, but it will go perfect on a 10 by eight photo. And then this one is smaller, Twinkle Starry Magic. Um, so that'll be nice on a four by six size photo. And then some other in-between pieces. Um, I'm just trying to think, oh yeah, one last thing, the star mini kit came in this packet and um, this is just an automatic easy foundation page. What I plan to do is stitch, stitch down the open end, trim this off because it's a little bit bulky and then punch it and slide it right into the album as a great little pocket. So I love when you can reuse packaging like that. I did that last year too for 2020 and used the star pouch um, so that your product packaging becomes a part of your pages too and, and then you have it. 
So that is everything that I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be sure to share more of my process in the upcoming days and weeks with you for how these foundation pages come together. And of course, you can always see more on our blog at TeresaMoxley.com. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.